Let me ask you about... Well, let me ask you about your autobiography. You, your book came out. Uh, how did this, all this happen? And there was stuff in here, even though I've met you a few times, I didn't know about, about your, your kind of path from having, like, you know, a regular job in the regular world and becoming a huge star in a very short space of time. Certainly that's how it feels to me. But I didn't know that you'd had a drink problem, that you were binge drinking back then. And that's, yeah. that's in here. I never knew that. Yeah, I mean, it was... What, what happened, because I'd split up with, with Melanie and I had the kids of a weekend, and then I did... Well, because of the nature of the job I had, because I was a sales director, I couldn't decide where I was in the week, so I said I'd, I'd have them. Every Friday, I'd pick them up from school and I'd take them back to school and nursery every Monday. And it meant that on Monday morning, I was just depressed. So I started doing this thing on a Monday morning called uh, working from home, which is basically me... <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> which is what all the country's doing this week. <laughs> oh, I'm just working from home, that bit between <laughs> Christmas and year. And I just... cos... It's just a horrible thing, dropping your kids off and thinking, I can't see him for a week. And I, I used to do a telephone conference, and during the telephone conference, I started drinking. I used to drink a bottle of wine during the telephone what? conference. And this was in the morning? or This the... was in the morning, till 10 o'clock in the morning, then I'd sit on the couch watching daytime TV, which was just depressing. <laughs> when you're going through a divorce and you're watching Richard and Judy, you're thinking, why can't I be that happy? <laughs> 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 Maybe I should have married Beyonce. <laughs> So how, how much would you drink during the... Uh, was it only a Monday or was it yeah, all through so the week Yeah, just then? a Monday and then, 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 I, uh, then I, uh, I'd sort of clear my head. And, you know, it wasn't like I was tipping over the edge, but it was, it was becoming a regular thing. And then, and then what happened after about four or five weeks, I thought, I just can't do it. I've got to make myself do something on a Monday. And that's what made me go to a comedy club for the first time. So it was to get yourself out of that Just hole, then? To, to not be in the house. I actually, in fact, I put a bit of it in the book, but I actually looked in the paper and thought, right, I need to go out on my own. None of my mates wants to go out me because I was bored and I was just talking about getting divorced. So, so I looked for something that a man can do on his own, and the only thing I could find was lap dancing. And I thought, <laughs> I thought I'm not going there, cos you don't make real friends. <laughs> 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 so, I, uh, so, so I just saw this, this, this comedy club and, and, and went in and that obviously started the chain of events that led to this. So in a way, what's lovely, without wanting to be too sort of simple about it, but in a way, you know, what, what, what got you so depressed was not being with your children and that got you into drinking and what got you out of drinking was doing comedy and what got you back to your family, really, was doing it, the comedy. It was doing the comedy, yeah, it's a full circle. It was, uh, I, and that's, that's why... You know when people talk about, well, you're doing another tour or, or you're doing this and why don't you just stop because obviously you've cracked it and you think, no, I, I owe comedy more than it ever owes me. And also, it's just what I do. It's the place where you go, that's my job, I just love doing it. Yeah. What happened then, though? OK, here we go. Hey, why do you sleep running away from me? <laughs> don't bring the mat with you, mate. <laughs> OK, there he is. To the last Jonathan Ross show ever. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it on! <laughs>